Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. Oh, it's true. Real estate is super competitive and harder than you expected. That's why I created Lee Brown University. It's everything you need to take you from point A to point whatever your goal is. You could be new to the business or a seasoned vet. I'll help you break through to the next level so that your professional life can look exactly like you desire. Enroll in Lee Brown University today. I'll help you get there. You have to choose. You're either going to do the work for yourself or you're going to do the work for somebody else because you got to have some cash to pay the taxes on your land. Because yeah. hopefully the government's not going to give out free money forever. This is a terrible uh, path Ooh. we're in right now with this. But still, yeah, there's so much. Give you... The doors are open. Yeah, the doors are open. You know, I, I, I think for me, uh, the blessing has been um, just doing the work, you know, it's not as hard because it, it, it's really all mental. That's really what it is. Um, I, I'm so blessed. I, I can tell you that because it was a critical moment. I could have literally left and been like, I'm not paying that. I can't afford it. You know, but I was just like, you know what? Look, I'm, this is, I'm all in, you know, I'm all into making this work, whatever I need to do to, to be successful. I need help. It was like, you know, I, and the crazy part is, is I knew more than I thought I knew. That was the interesting part. Um, as I began to go through the steps of just being coached, I was like, Oh my, it was just, I needed those critical, um, connected points just to make it make sense. And so here I am today. I love coaching. I'm never going to stop paying for coaching because you know, um, it, it works. You know, for me, that was the, the company I use. There's so many great companies out there, but um, definitely I would say for me, this has been the last two years, no, actually three years, because I did so great. Um, 2018 was like a miracle, you know, from like barely making it to like, oh my gosh, you know, and then it's every year, it's just gone crazy. Uh, amazing, you know, so much. So last year, I mean, like I said, I had already reached my goals in June last year, 2020. And, you know, I had a lot of people like, Oh, I, I was like, girl, I'm done. I mean, actually I can take off, but I, I didn't. So, <laughs> but, but a lot of that's mindset driven though. So if your mindset says there's nothing to sell, there's nothing to do. Real estate's crazy. I can't do it. Then you surely can't. But if your mindset is of abundance, as we know, and you think, you know what, if I just do the right things, the business will be there. So what I really want you to, to land on as we finish our episode here is what you're doing with that coaching knowledge that you've been receiving and drinking in and been open to for the last couple of years. Because now that you have a new franchise and a new office opportunity and you're bringing agents in, you've already said this is about developing talent. And I love yeah. that phrase because too often in real estate, we talk about recruiting agents. Well, that's just bringing them in the door. And there's a whole different world beyond recruitment. And it's not just retention either, right? So th I think we've right. got to rephrase the whole thing. And I love what you said about managing and developing talent because each one of those agents that comes to you has yeah. a different set of talents. So how are you transferring your knowledge and your skills into the next generation of realtor? And what do you think is the the ultimate goal in Stephanie's life? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you said that. Um, you know, prior to, uh, well, when I joined the coaching system, I also, this is crazy. I asked, also went back to school and um, I- why not? My, What's one more thing on your plate. I know, right? I, I, I went back to school. My intention was actually to go to law school. And um, yeah, it was really interesting. I went back to school. And I got my degree in organizational leadership. And so um, I was literally, when I finished that, I'm like, okay, the next step is like going to be, I'm going to go into law school and like, let's do this thing, you know? And what ended up happening was I had a, I, I was just, cause I was doing well on my, I'm like, Hey, you know, my business is growing. 
And the Lord spoke to me one day and he said, who are you teaching? And I was like, what? Who are you leading? And I'm like, I'm leading myself, my family, my son. I, I mean, yeah, you know, that's a lot of work. Like, no, who are you leading? And I was like, uh, and when he's like, well, you didn't get the degree just to get the degree, but you need to leave. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate.